Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Welcome once more to another live stream of Alexandra Mayer's Live here on Instagram. Yes, I am making more use of my Instagram. Today is part two of Alexandra Minimalist Female Traveler. Hey, Emir. Hi. Hi, Champ D. I'm glad that I actually have some people coming in here today so I don't feel like a lunatic talking to myself. But anyways, um, in my first part of my minimalist series, it's just going to be an ongoing series. It might be short. It might be long. I don't know how long the series is going to be. But um, as I'm traveling, I've been traveling since September 1st of last year, okay? And I'm traveling indefinitely because I'm one of those rare people who doesn't have any ties or anything else. I don't have any kids. I'm lucky enough to have a job that I can work remotely anywhere that there's an internet connection. I can work at this point in my life. And um, I haven't figured out where I want to live on an extended basis within the United States yet. I've lived in a lot of places within the United States. I've lived in um, Texas, Florida, New York, California, Las Vegas, Phoenix, but there's still other areas of the United States that I plan to check out and visit and just places that I want to um, vacation in, places that I want to camp. So I'm probably not going to settle down anywhere until the year um, 2023, to be honest with you, because I actually plan to um, do a little bit of international traveling next year too. But anyway, my whole point as to telling you all about my lifestyle has to do with um, me having to be more of a minimalist. I saw a documentary recently on minimizing, you know, as far as having as little personal belongings as possible. I'm doing pretty well so far. In the first video, I went through the suitcase that I um, pretty much live out of. But here is the other suitcase that I've been traveling with. Both are the same size. I've been using my second suitcase more so as my storage suitcase for out of season clothes or things that I don't wear, or shoes that I don't wear. But if I don't wear it, why do I need it? Now there's a few things that I'm gonna keep, but really there's a lot of stuff in here. I know I'm not gonna wear anymore. Um, things that are just out of style. I went through a phase to where I gained some weight to where I had to get bigger clothes, but now I'm losing weight again. I actually have a storage unit over on the West Coast that you know once I get over there, I'm gonna go to and go through because I have a lot of clothes that I could wear again that are in that storage unit and I want to sell off everything that I have left in that storage unit. I went from a larger storage unit to a smaller storage unit the last time I was on the West Coast, but now I got to go back and I just want to clear the whole damn thing out because it's costing me money every month and I don't need it. But anyway, let me look at the chat. Yeah. Oh, well, if it closed on you, nothing I can do about that. This ain't all about you. This is my stream, champ. It's my stream. I don't care if it closed on you. <laughs> hey, Adam. Happy to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming in. All right, so I'm just going to go through the items and make a pile of throwaway, maybe, and I guess the things I'm going to keep, I'll just keep in here. But what I'm probably going to end up doing is once I get back to that West Coast storage unit, I'm going to probably downsize again to an even smaller storage closet. Because I already have like the second smallest, but I'm going to get the smallest, smallest. And then while I'm on the West Coast, I could have, I, I could um, put in that storage unit the things that I, I, I don't need at all. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. I, I'm not the best minimalist. I'm trying. You know, it's harder for women to become minimalist because we do tend to have a passion for fashion. And, you know, you want to keep up your appearance. You can't be too minim too much of a minimalist, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I actually went to the uh, park a little earlier today. I'm back to running again. And thank you for saying that my weight looks fine but I prefer to be a little bit underweight. 
I really do. And I'm not there yet. I'm not overweight. I think right now I'm in the appropriate BMI index, but I want to get very thin. That's where I want it. That's just, it'll make me happy if I become very, very thin. So that's what I'm working on, but I'm back to running. Happy about that. But really, I mean, I'm feeling so great. I feel very healthy at this stage of my life. Um, I guess it's been a couple years now. I quit smoking completely. So um, feeling good about that. That was, that was actually one of the best decisions I ever made was deciding to completely give up cigarettes, okay? I recommend to anyone out there to do the same because um, there's no point really to smoking cigarettes. You're, you're just shortening your life. It's a gross habit. So kick that habit if that's something that you do. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna go, I have this little bag full of socks. So, I think the older socks in here, we're just gonna go ahead and chuck. Like this pair, which is like freaking neon bright. I don't need these. Anything that's damaged or that has like, that's worn, I think I'm gonna get rid of. Like that's overly worn. I like these socks though, so we're gonna keep these. So the rest of the stream is probably going to be kind of boring because it's just going to be me going through items, socks, and crap. But I'm just trying to get down, you know, things I don't need anymore. Things that I don't need anymore. I don't want to travel with anymore. Okay. All right, I think that those are going to be the only socks that I keep. And it's funny because I hardly ever wear socks. I don't know why I feel the need to have so many socks. It's kind of crazy. Purple is the best. I love purple. Yeah. It's funny, I just, um, when I was in Pensacola, I was staying at a uh, place to where everything was purple. I like purple to a degree, but you can get a little tired of purple after a while. But I do like purple. Okay. Um, this shirt's worn out. Don't need it. Keep this top. These we will keep. I've been, I've been traveling with um, these little hand weights and ankle weights, which I have not been properly utilizing. You know, what? I'm gonna put them on right now, the ankle weights at least. I probably would be in better shape if I was using these, and I don't know why I haven't been using them. But I actually have a um, utility bag in my car for like my utilities, which are like art supplies and um, stuff like that. So I really should be keeping these little weights in that little utility bag because then I would probably access them more and wear them more. So put them on. Because while I'm doing this, I could be burning some calories with these ankle weights. Okay, I got them on. <laughs> okay. Trying to be fit. But yeah, these need to be in that other bag. So we're gonna put those in the, the other bag. All right, stretchy jeans. These are actually a little bit too big for me now. So time for them to go. These are old. Don't want those anymore. Let's see. I think these will probably fit me better now, so we'll keep these.
<laughs> I always I always find these um, items that are supposed to, you know, help you shape your body, but I never use them. This is one of those um, waist cinchers. And I was planning on, um, you know, using this on a regular basis, but I just haven't. And really, I don't even think it's healthy to use these waist cinchers. I don't know. I mean, I've tried to wear them for an extended amount of time, and um, I don't like it. Have y'all ever seen these? It's supposed to be to where, like, if you want, like, a really small waist. And I've always had really narrow hips. So, um, I've always wanted a smaller waist. But I, I just don't like wearing it. Let's see. Ugh. There. See? Look at, look at how small it can make your waist. Shows how fat I am. <laughs> Let's see how cinchy I can make it. Well, if you wanted to travel now, Adam, you could, honestly. You don't have to wait much more, you know. Nothing's gonna happen to you. All right, see, now I'm Wonder Woman. Da -da. <laughs> You know what? I am going to keep this because who knows? Maybe I will use it. Maybe I can make my waist smaller. I don't know if it's good for you. But you know, I'll put it in my utility bag with my weights. And that way when I exercise, maybe I could have this on. It just doesn't take up that much space. Okay. So what else do we have in here that I don't need that's time to get rid of? Well, I can't get rid of my Bob Ross shirt because I like to wear it while I'm painting. So, but being that I do like to wear it while I'm painting, you know, I, I probably should put it with my utility stuff instead of having it in here because that's kind of a shirt that I like to wear while do stuff. Okay. Uh, do I wanna... At one point, I was planning on keeping up with um, a certain video series that I was doing, and I got these items from it. No, you know, I don't need to have them. It's a waste. Keep the gray. Keep the hot pink. Get rid of this. Hmm. Keep these. I have some. I have a couple wristband and sweatband sets. Pink and gray. And I'm not ready to get rid of those just yet. Okay. I know what I can use them for. Okay. shirt. I don't need it right now, but if I go out or something, I will keep that. Doing well so far. It's hard to let things go. It really is. But I have to do it because I don't have to, but I just want to because I'm finding that the less things that you have to worry about, the more you worry about the things that matter, the more productive you are. So, you know. Yeah, these are all tops that I 
do like. There's a lot of tops I have here that I don't like, that I don't need, so. All right, I'll keep this top. This top, I picked this little top up for like two bucks and I'm gonna use it for when I work out a little bit more. It's just a little crop top kind of top, but it's a nice top. I'm actually thinking I should have it in that bag over there. So there's a few things that should be over there. So I'll just put this here. Let's see this, we will keep. I like this top, so we'll keep it. Hmm. We're getting into summer. I could be wearing this one now. Okay, this is more for getting out of that season. All right, definitely time to throw these boots out. These boots have been some of my favorite boots. You may recognize them from some of my OnlyFans photo shoots, but um, it's time for them to go. Time for them to go. They're not even comfortable anymore. Soles are about worn out, but I've had these for years. No, I, I, I know when I when I go to when I go to Hawaii, when I go to Asia, I'm only gonna have one bag, but between now and then, I'm minimizing as I can. Okay. I'm doing really well. Look, I have less belongings than most Americans at this stage. I know I do. So I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. But you know, as I'm traveling throughout the continental United States, I do like to have my wardrobe options. But I'm getting, I, I'm shrinking down. I'm shrinking down. Once I get to, um, I have a feeling that by the time I get to the West Coast, I'll be down to one suitcase. I have a feeling about that. All right, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching today. I will be back tomorrow talking about something.